Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm joined by Blondie as per usual. I'll have a quick video today because I wanted to do a little Valentine's DIY um, because I know it's going to be really popular and a lot of you guys were asking um, if we kind of decorate for Valentine's. So in Ireland, we don't really, a lot of you guys in the US, I've been loving your like Valentine's decor on like Instagram and Pinterest. Um, so we don't really change up our decor here um, for Valentine's Day, but we do obviously like celebrate it and exchange. It's not huge or maybe is it just because because I'm single it's not huge. So it's not like a huge holiday here. When you were a kid in school, I mean you'd exchange your Valentine's and it was fun and obviously if you're with somebody you'll go out for dinner or whatever. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to do a little DIY. Um, so this DIY is more something you kind of give to your girlfriends or well I suppose you could give it to a guy too but it's more kind of girly floral. It's a present I would like to get. So if there's any men watching, um, maybe make this for your the ladies in your lives. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this light up love box frame. So you might have seen last week's DIY where I hacked the Ikea stool. I'm so glad you all loved it, I'll link it below. Um, so when I was in Ikea picking up that stool I noticed that they had a lot of new stuff in Ikea. So there was like new frames and new little kind of bits in the trinket section. One of the things I stumbled across was the Casabi frame. So it's like a display box frame and um, so the door opens so you can have it either lengthways or sideways. For this DIY I decided to use it sideways and um, so I also had a video from last year where I was showing you how to make box frames from the Riba or Reba um, for Euro 50 frames. So I kind of took my inspiration for that. The thing with the Riba frames is they only come in like two sizes and if you want to do something lengthways um, it's kind of hard to do. So that is why I picked up the Cassidy frame um, because I liked the way it was wider. The Cassidy frame was 15 euros. So I was looking for inspiration to see what I could put into the frame. So I popped along to my local craft shop and I went to Inspiring Ideas and I picked up, I knew before from um, shopping there they had like wooden signs. I picked up this really cheap little wooden love sign. It's kind of like handwritten. They had two kind of fonts of love um, wooden MDF sign. I went for the one that was a bit more romantic like a scroll. I decided to give it a little floral makeover very similar to the video where I used the letter Lily for my niece and I turned them into like floral letters. So kind of like the same style. So I started by painting my love sign. So I painted it because I didn't want, when I stick on the moss, I didn't want any wood shining through and I wanted the sides to be pink. So I gave it one coat of chalk paint. This is just um, paint I had in my kit. I used Authentico chalk paint in the shade Rose. Once this was dry, I glued on my dried moss. I got this big bag of dried kind of craft moss like last year. I've used it in so many tutorials here. I used it in the teacup video and the letters for Lily video, like so many and I still have loads left in the bag so I decided to use it for this DIY. So using some glue I got from the craft shop I decided to pull apart my pieces of moss and stuck it onto the um, love letter and once I was happy with all of the coverage I just let that fully dry. When I was in the craft shop I also picked up these little kind of red rose buds. They were 150 for a packet and I used three packets. I probably could have used more packets um, so I used three packets and I just pulled off the little rose heads and I glued them on and I glued them all along the each letter so L-O-V-E I just stuck them on and placed them. So now for the really fiddly part which is sticking the backing part on. So I wanted something that was going to stand out so the Cassidy frame comes in like a grey spongy backing um, which didn't look too nice with my lovely floral love letter. So I decided to go for a hessian background because I wanted kind of a farmhouse kind of feel to it and I know hessian and floral is real kind of cottagey and farmhouse. So I had some hessian left over from some previous projects. Now you don't have to use hessian, you could use a wallpaper. Um, so if you got like a wallpaper sample from the DIY shop. Um, I was originally going to do wallpaper um, but it was kind of fiddly so I decided to go with the hessian. My best advice is measure out the frame. So I have a wrote in my hand here. 42 centimeters by 25 is the size of the inside. So I measured that out. 
And then I went and measured out my fabric and cut it to them dimensions. It took me about two goes, maybe three, um, to try and get it in perfectly. But once I stopped and measured 42 by 25, um, I was able to get it in perfectly and I was able to kind of just tuck any of the edges into the lip of the frame. I used the same craft glue to stick my backing onto the frame that I did for sticking the moss and the flowers on. And using the same glue, I then put on my love sign into the box. So I just kind of roughly centered it um, and then applied the glue and stuck it down and then my love sign was in. Once my love sign was in, I was kind of like, mm, I feel like it's kind of missing something. So, um, although it's nice without the lights and you could leave it um, without the lights, I was after picking up these kind of like copper wire string lights from Pennies. They were six euro. And I was like, you know what, these could be cute in the box. Um, so as these lights, now this would be kind of tricky to do with normal string lights that have like a plastic lead. Because these string lights, if you can get your hands on them, they're basically wire string lights. So you can bend and mold these lights. So it was so easy for me to bend and mold the lights around the shape of the love sign. So I decided to have a little experiment and I popped the lights all around the sign. I think the lights kind of just add something to the box frame. So because the string lights that I put in were really, really thin, bendable and easy to kind of manipulate around the sign, I literally just have them, I didn't like drill into the box or anything like that. I literally just have the lights coming down to this corner here and once you open this, hang on, I open it. You can see the lights, the string is going around here and it's just going around the back and that's where I've just tucked in the battery pack. So it's like really simple to do. And you can turn it off and turn it on. The great thing about the battery pack lights is they're battery pack, so you can put your frame anywhere you want it. You don't have to kind of worry about sticking it somewhere where you have a plug. So that is my quick Valentine's DIY today. You could also make this um, for weddings. So um, you saw what I done, I'll link below the video where I use like the individual MDF letters. You could so do that for like a wedding and um, you could do the two initials with the and sign in the middle. And um, there's so many things and ways you could kind of change that up. So I hope you liked today's video. Next week I am going to be away traveling. Um, so I try and upload every Thursday. So I'm not sure um, what video I will have up next Thursday. But you can catch me on Instagram. I'll make sure I'll share my traveling on um, Insta stories and Instagram. I'll pop all my um, social media handles and everything below. But don't worry, I will be vlogging as much as I can. Um, but I'm not sure if it'll be next week or the week after when I'll be uploading. If you are new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and I will chat to you all very soon. Bye!